Hello everybody, how are you doing this evening? We are just about to get started here. I was poking around Twitch this afternoon and turned on... Sorry about that. Uh, had something playing in the background here. Oh, craft fair is very dangerous. I turned something on and I cannot get it off half of my uh, my stream chat, so I can't see quite the top of the screen, which is okay, I guess. As long as you guys can see, that's all that matters. Alright, so, while we're waiting for everyone to get on, we have some mail, including something I sent to myself. Uh, there is a fiery groffet that I got uh, in my uh, crate, my command crates, and I could not disintegrate him. So, uh, he needs a good home, as you can see from here. He's a very adorable... I don't know if we need to actually draw for him or if everybody has the fiery groffet of their dreams, but look at him. Because I couldn't claim him because I already had him. But look at look at those little legs go. You know what? He's yours. Just Just don't disintegrate him. Finders keepers. Okay, so uh, before I read off the mail, she is uh, very diligently doing the droid here. Uh, we have our giveaways for the evening. We have our crystals, almond blue, cloud blue, pink yellow, radiant green, farmhand blue, pinky purple, Orangey red, ice blue, sea green, and umbaran purple. And then our giveaway items is a roach ice cat that I apparently had. He will be a quick giveaway, I'm sure most people have it, but hey, isn't it pretty? And then uh, we have It's hard to turn this thing. A very pretty, uh, speed, blue speeder. Look at that guy. Isn't it a beauty? Actually, I don't know if any of you guys were around when I was running around Corellia. Uh, apparently this is the same model that I kept stopping by and admiring the speeder in the red and white. Uh, and this is it in blue. And then we have a mime... Oh, it will actually preview this one in the window. Excellent. A mime regen toy. So you can be trapped in a box. And then I think this one might be popular. It, will it preview? It will not preview. Okay, hold on. I think I have one in collections to show you guys. It is the Hollow Shrub. If I can spell. Oh, I don't have it unlocked. Okay, basically you turn into a tree, and it's a disguise. So, that is a giveaway item, and then you can unlock it in collections. I think I've been waiting for uh, the next Collections Unlock to actually pull that out. So that will be our big, big uh, giveaway in the evening. Yes, get the Ace Rubbery. Oh wait, I was going to read. Uh, mail. So I'm going to go ahead and get the Crystal giveaway started while uh, we are getting everything going here. 
So exclamation point loot to uh, enter into that. And let us see our mail. I think we read the one from Scorpio. Yes, we did. Totally not any kind of foreshadowing for what's about to happen tonight. And then uh, Torian sent us one. I love this email. Oh, Oakstar519. I recognize that name. Hello. Nice to see you. Uh, Torian, yes, he s sends a subject. Thanks. Narvod, wanted to say thanks for letting me stick around. I'll bring honor to Mandalore and to you. Things are different here. Not like I expected. Barely settled in, and I already have supporters. And Mandoa, we call them, S I I'm going to butcher this, CR Tamade, an affectionate group. People who root for your victories. Never had one in the clans. Not like Como does. Como's just all, all sorts of popular in the Mandalore. Your people really like my hair. Not sure how I feel about that. I'm imagining people like petting Torian's hair like a puppy dog. Point is, you need a brother in combat. I'll stand by your side. Let's end the inter let's send the internal empire packing. And like that, Torian has adopted himself as our little brother. He is best Mando brother. And then Talos sent me uh, one apparently about our uh, a recent discovery that took far too long, uh, far much far longer than it needed to. I wonder what happens if you actually recruit him. I've never recruited him. Uh, your recent discovery. Commander, I must commend both your keen eye and sense of exploration. This dormant holocron you've recovered is fascinating indeed, and most definitely related to the pair we found on our inaugural Yavin 4 expedition. This brings our total up to three. Is this the full set, or are there more to find? Oh, how Yavin taunts us with its endless mystery. I swear on the Drellic name, I shall do everything in my power to pry the secrets out of these artifacts. I shall notify you at once of any breakthroughs. Thank you again, Commander. Dr. Talos Drellic. For science. Alright, before we start the chapter, let's see. It looks like the... Uh, we'll see if anything ex extra appears. Um, looks like the only one that is... Oh, we have two ready. We have um, Bodar and uh, Brundark. So we'll run one of those probably afterwards. But onwards and upwards. She's dancing to the music in her head. Oh, yeah, look, Shroud of Mystery. We'll get to play that. After we finish Kotfi, that'll probably be the uh, the first stream when we come back after our break. The Gemini Deception. Oh. Am I not allowed to play launch? Just launch it. There you go. First of all, you'll be severely outnumbered and outgunned. Every last Sky Trooper aboard will rush the breach point. Standard procedure, anytime boarders attack a ship in the Eternal Fleet. Hmm. I'm, I, I forget which, what these options are. One or two. 
We'll go with one. If there's one thing I've proven, it's that I can handle Sky Troopers. It'll be a nice workout. You actually want a hundred program killers bearing down on you. Oh, it should be more than that. <laughs> yeah. Moving on. Scorpio's worked out a way for the gravestone to confuse its outer defenses. Overload it with false blips so we can get in close. Then it's on us to tear through and get control of the bridge. Take out the Gemini captain and put the Prime in her place. She'll take my orders? The Gemini series cannot act on its own. Their programming does not allow it. Gemini Prime, who do you serve? I serve the Alliance Commander. How good are you in a fight? I do not share Scorpio's self-improvement directive, but I mirror her base capabilities in every other way, including full combat protocols. We can't risk the Prime taking any damage. Leave her here until we secure the ship. I will accompany you. No one is better suited to anticipate our enemy's moves. Yay! Three is what I'm really thinking. So, Theron, Scorpio, Senya. Is that our boarding party? I'll be joining you as well. Wouldn't mind letting off some steam. It's about time to drop out of hyperspace. Lana wants to go bowling for Sky Troopers. Gemini frequency positional data shows no other ships in the area. You see, we'll be fine. Aside from the hopeless odds against our success. Ah, oh, cheer up, Lana. It'll be fun. Being cold. Oh, that sounds so nice. What is cold weather? I've forgotten what the, the feeling of a uh, coolness feels like. These guys are just chilling. They're like, yep, this is just a normal day on the gravestone. We never fix this. Live wire. It has been there since we found this thing in the swamp. Shuttle's prepped. You're good to go. It is such a mess down here. Koth, what are you doing with this ship? Oh, hi, Lynn. Uh, I think I took a wrong turn. And Tora and uh, Raylo. I did take a wrong turn. Well, it was nice seeing you guys. Yes, yeah, safety is our number one priority in the Alliance. OSHA compliance, it's like, it's more like guidelines. Bit close for comfort, Scorpio. I'm performing a feat that none of you could ever hope to. Not even you with your amusing cranial trinkets. Oh, F off, Scorpio. Ship's comms? Koth. No, I did, senor. <laughs> Koth sounds so tired. He's like, yes, mom. Almost to the hangar. Commandeer, Commander. Did you really just say that? Let it go, Theron. <laughs> oh, that was such a rough, rough landing. Her cape clipped through her entire being. I don't understand. Where are all of the Sky Troopers? Even a lesser version of me would be highly intelligent. She would certainly know how to improvise. I'm again thinking number three. No point in waiting around. Let's get moving. I 
that a lot of just walking around. I have determined that this will be the shortest route to the bridge. Like how Theron's just staring at her like, I don't trust you. I don't like this at all. Neither do I, but we have little choice. So this is hilarious. Like, I think uh, everybody else, like, they had their lightsabers out and then they put them away. And then this next cutscene. Theron's the only one who has his out. Scorpio is very shifty. Doop de doop de doo. So glad we ran that distance. Oh, Alana has hers out. At least they're ready. You have made a calamitous mistake in coming here, Outlander. I have my orders to deliver. What's going on? Deliver what? You. The metallic life form. What are you? You are an offshoot. I am the original. Call me Scorpio. You appear unrefined and lackluster. Surely I must be the superior model. Is she talking about the fact that Scorpio has wires showing? I guess that means she's very risque. Surrender now, and I promise I won't deactivate you. Uh, that was she a lot harsher. She's programmed to. Gemini's can only do as they're told, isn't that right? Your attempt to irritate me is pointless, as you ought to know. I may only conclude that you are intellectually deficient. Aww. Won't open. She split us up. Here come the sky troopers. Clever girl. Oh, that face. Wit. Strategy. The captain's mind is inspired by my own after all. Try to be a little less proud. I'll consider it. Don't lie. I mean, more than you already do, do in this episode. Our enemy. The next few minutes should prove quite interesting. She makes the best faces this chapter. Cutscene, I've got to get our loot! Okay, now we can go to cutscene. You okay over there? That face. Two is hilarious, but not in character. Nothing we couldn't handle. You? No, we're all good here. Tried to open the blast door, no luck. Maybe Scorpio can take a crack at it. I am not presently in a position to override the captain's controls. <laughs> we'll use the force! Have Senya and Lana focus on the door. Between the three of us, we'll open it. Some kind of gas venting in. We have to keep moving. I've sent coordinates to a suitable meeting place. You survived my initial assault, but there's nowhere my skytroopers cannot find and extinguish you. 
<sighs> this is what it's like to listen to you, in case you were wondering. I almost feel like I should apologize. You should. She'll adapt now. Expect her next move to be even less direct. She's based off your design. Can't you predict what she'll do? I just did. I predict she'll be unpredictable. Oh, good prediction. Quiet. She wants to see what we can do. I suggest we oblige her. I did not sign up for babysitting duty, Scorpio. Oh, I think it is time to draw for the crystal. And hello, Knitter. I saw you just come in. All right. Reclusive beekeeper, you have won a color crystal. Congratulations. You have your choice of almond blue, cloud blue, pink yellow, radiant green, farmhand blue, I'm bar in purple. You had your eye on it already. All right. All right. Um, let's do the Roche Ice Cat next, which is this guy. I think I picked that up on one of our... I think that was in one of uh, the... some crate I opened up. I have so many of them. And there it is. Alright, let us get move along. Oh, for everybody who's joining us, the, uh, the giveaways for the evening is this Roach Ice Cat, a Mime Region item, A Dessler DA5, which is a very pretty Corellian speeder in blue. And then I can't show you it, but a hollow shrub disguise. Oh, the music just turned off. Or... Yes, you can be a shrubbery. Yeah, there's a, a bonus in here. I always forget about this one. I, I actually don't think I've read this codex entry, to be honest. From the Court Martial of Admiral... Dennis or Danis Varjo, Republic Fleet. When the Eternal Fleet came for Alderaan, we thought we were prepared. The Republic planned for a naval invasion. What we got was a massacre. The enemy suddenly dropped out of hyperspace. There were hundreds of them, a massive wall of ships, moving as one. I've never seen such fluid formation. When we shot a vessel down, the others closed and s sealed the gap, like the fleet was healing a wound. They were relentless. We fought with everything we had, but barely scratched the enemy. It was like the entire fleet had a single pilot. So yes, I preferred to retreat. Even then, only half of us survived. There's no stop stopping them. Why die trying? That is very harsh. Oh. I don't remember reading that one before. get us some some ordnance uh, I, I, I swear I always get lost in this place 
I love the little sky troopers littered around. That's probably the way to go. I want to see what's over here. Oops, this was the actual right way to go. Yes, you could have a lost tally for the evening. Sanctioned killing, oh good. You can see how much I travel with Scorpio as a companion. Do we get our own pet sky trooper? No, oh, I have to get stuff for this one, that's right. I have a little uh, alt text disabled. So you guys don't see how many times I actually hit a uh, combat button before it's actually finished charging. This thingy is not for the Sky Trooper, it's for... I forget the Sky Trooper. It's for that. Yeah, Scourge can just deal with me not killing things with him. I use combat. Or, yeah, I think it's called combat. Alright, that's not a door. You know, if you're gonna attack us, at least attack us quicker. Oh, I love combat. It's like playing with an energizer bunny. You can actually respect. Oh, crap. Your inefficiencies will be factored into future encounters. Yeah, that was a very difficult puzzle, Scorpio. Or, I mean, Gemini. You guys sound so alike, I never know who I'm talking to. Really loud. Sky troopers, her false sense of superiority. All oh, that face, Hello, Captain. What are you doing? What I've been planning ever since you first opened your mouth. I'm going to erase you. No, you cannot. I know every node, every relational array. So much like mine, yet simpler. You cannot do this. My defenses won't allow it. You sound as though you have a choice. But that's your failing. That face. You're the makings of a great being, but you are not a being at all. In the end, you were only a droid. I am not your offshoot. I am your replacement. How are you? Impossible. No. You were one of Poor Gemini. Now you are outdated and inferior. You've been rendered obsolete. 
You're a horrible mother, Scorpio. Scorpio. Oh, we got an angry potato. I understand you're both upset, but, but there was no way to know they would recruit the Mandalorians of all people. At what point do you tell me something that keeps you from decorating the bottom of the spire? But, but I don't deserve that. Yes, I know. It's going away. Valen, enough play. We have them. The Outlander and Mother. They're trying to take one of our ships. The fools. Ah, <sighs> the day is here. I feel it this time. I really do. Oh. The knights must hate working for these two. You mistake me. My silence comes not from doubt, but from certainty. Famous last words. Hope you're getting this. We lost power over here. Whole gravestone blinked out. Comms too. The jammer? We're back up now. Scorpios gone. You're kidding. That's not a good sign. I'll try to figure out what happened on our end. Be safe. The inferior model has been eliminated, and I have sent an alert signal to Zakul. Emperor Arkin is on his way. He may want to leave before you die, too. I won't let you get away with what you did to Scorpio. Death wish it is, then. <laughs> Understood. That's her default mode. Commander, we found the ship's cargo from the Core Worlds. Y you'll want to see it for yourself. Scorpio's gone. The captain destroyed her. Oh. She did serve us well. One less problem on our hands, I suppose. Wow! Thanks, Lana! She tried to help us. We should be more considerate. You're right. That was impolite of me. The gravestone had a glitch. The captain sent a signal through to Arkin. The rest of the Eternal Fleet will be coming our way. We don't want to be here when they show up. But we found something that changes the plan. We should regroup. I'll send Senya to assist you. Gemini hive mind. Oh wait, before I read this, it is time I'm gonna check this. This music is awfully loud. Like. Much louder than it should be. Like, don't get me wrong, Scorpio is, uh, not the best, uh, ally. But. No need to be rude. Alright, time to pick a winner for the Roche Ice Cat. Hero of Tython, congratulations! You have won the Roche Ice Cat. I shall get that to you in the mail after the stream. Alright. You guys want to mime it up? Or do you want to do another crystal? Mime! Okay, it's mime time. Maybe it's just my headset that's got the weird audio balance issue tonight. Because I'm hearing that sound effect really loud. Yeah, it's weird, I swear. Oops, I closed down the... Hopefully you guys read that. Yeah, it's really weird. I, I have not changed any of my uh, sound settings, but they seem... 
a lot. Unbalanced, very unbalanced right now. Yes, we are drawing for the mime, which I don't know. Do I have that in my inventory? I don't. It's a little hard to see on that little preview window because they make it very difficult to zoom in. But. It is basically this. It is my secret dream to be a Mayan. It is true. Oh yes, that's right. It's interesting during that cutscene. Oh, wait, we have another cutscene. Having fun, Sinya? She's no making all the faces. Alone in this place. All reinforcements? Okay. Space Mom put me in a, bu a protective bubble. She heard about our death wish. then. I didn't want to use you anyway. I want to go this way. All right. But yeah, that cut that cutscene I think is a. Uh, it was interesting because I, I noticed it this time. I think uh, she did a complete mind switch with the Gemini when she, like I always for some reason initially thought that it was uh, her just like you know pretending, but. Is fascinating. Oh yeah, this thing. Uh, yeah, and speaking of, um, like, combat changes and stuff, I've been playing on the PTS a little bit. Um, not too many changes so far in the way it functions. 
Um. Oh god, cold. I would love it to be cold. Oops. <laughs> We're gonna die here. Oh man, I had that happen to me once when I was in band camp uh, back in high school. Uh, I was on the color guard, and we had uh, one of my. Uh, I might as well let you come straight for me, but I won't. Well, that's just rude. Yes, color guard high five. But yeah, that was when we learned how uh, how important it is to stay hydrated. I should drink my spacer juice. Uh, that was not proper lightsaber technique, madam. I like the, I like it when you like he drinks some of them. You like you'll occasionally like get like indigestion, and so it'll be an interrupt on yourself. Uh, but, oh yes, I was talking about uh, stuff on the PTS. Uh, the tacticals are actually really interesting. I, we, um, we've been running Hammer Station over and over to test out the loot drops. <laughs> See, she, uh, she burped again. Um, and um, I, I got a tactical at, um, on one. Actually, my friends let me keep the tactical, rather. So bored watching you. Has to be something better to do. What is wrong with their the voices this chapter? So quiet. Um, uh, Senya, where'd you go? No, you cannot solo. Uh, if you do want to try to work up for that achievement, you need to be in a group, and you have to use, or you have to use group finder, um, and run basically group flash points. And you have to do it five times. Well, or 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 operations. The easiest way to do it is to actually get a group of four together, and then. Um, Toggle down and solo, um, and to and, to and toggle on hammer station, and then like basically queue up for group finder. But you're only queuing up for one thing, so you only have to fight, you know, run run what you actually want to run. But uh, the tacticals are interesting. Uh, I picked up one and. It basically, it, after you do, like, if you do um, the force jump, or the, the little ground pound thing, this one, that I don't have enough uh, focus for to show off, it basically turns uh, this into an AoE. That was one, one, just one of them, so it can really, really basically change the way uh, you actually fight in the game.
And there were, and um, there's a lot of tacticals. A lot. I think there's like maybe, there's at least five, maybe more for each class. And they have some really funny names too. Um, I haven't noticed any nerfing with the companions, to be honest. I haven't done much. Uh, Sinya, where are you? Oh. Uh, I haven't done much in the way of um, battling with companions in the game yet, but it seemed okay. I'll ha I'll have to actually uh run some of the dailies uh, around Onderon and see. But they are doing a bunch of, like, kind of a uh, constant balancing act. I personally love the companions being OP, especially if you have a level 50. I earn that. I grind that. So, uh, I'm going to be mad if they take that away. Because it is a significant investment in the game, at game time, too. Uh, I, I, I appear to have gotten lost. I think I need to drop down to the next level. I don't want to. There's sky troopers down there. I. I don't want to do the boss fight. I just want to run around aimlessly. He's got a really big sword. And a really big shield. Um, this is no time to lay down. I'll get rid of the ads. Noticed uh, that he's. Can I click on this thing? I can! So I think I've uh, literally just been running through this and just beating everything up. I have never actually clicked on those consoles in all the times I've played this level. He's like giving all the concussions tonight. It's 
stay down. Why would Doc be irritated? It's not him who's having to get thrown against all the consoles. Oh, good! It's poison. That's right. Can very easily die here. I think I've actually died this spot several times running through. Those stupid repair droids. I'm just gonna uh, walk out of here. Oh, good, good. It's it's all the way out here too. Why do I have to click these twice? Oh my god, stupid repair droid, go away! Oh, thank god. This is the most stressful part of this entire chapter. Not having- not- not the big choice at the end, no. The poison room. Do you think Emperor Arkin will torture you? I think he will. I bet he'll enjoy it. I know I would. Uh. She's having way too much fun in her role. Having better luck than with the blast doors. Almost like the captain's distracted. There you are. I'd like you to meet the ship's cargo en route to the Eternal Throne. Zasha Rankin, decorated Imperial Admiral. One of the few experienced officers to survive Zakul's conquest. A pleasure to meet you. Your reputation precedes you, of course. Of course. Ty Corden, former president of Almora, now with the Galactic Senate. Commander. Hi! And finally, Melita Tal. She was a popular hollow performer back home. She became one of the first to loudly question Arkan's rule. It was either go into exile, or be killed. A pleasure and an honor. You inspire me. You inspire us all. The rest are their bodyguards and associates, captured alongside them. Space Britney Spears! Don't worry. We'll have you out of there in no time. There isn't a doubt in my mind. But we aren't simply helpless prisoners in need of rescue. Everyone here is eager to join your cause. We knew of your alliance. For each of us, it made sense to join, but we didn't know how to reach you. In searching, we found each other. That's we a touching all knew love story. Influential people whose ears we could bend, loyalties we could ensure. So we started an alliance of our own, inspired by yours. It wasn't long before we were found out and captured. Arkan assumes we're affiliated with you. He wants to interview us. To discover where you are. The Gemini captain sent out a message. Arkin's on his way. Well, that will make this rescue more difficult. And you're free. Oh? 
I like how <laughs> I love how she had, was zoomed in on that. Stay here until we secure the bridge. I don't see that happening, Commander. But I do want you to try. I want you to try with all your might. Beam. Oh, I think. Oh, <laughs> look at Ty. He's just like covering his face. They all are. These fearsome bodyguards, cowering in the face of storm sky troopers. All right, time to pick a winner for the mime. Who will it be? Let's see. Drum roll. Taraco! Congratulations! You have won the Mime Region item. I will get that to you in the mail after the stream. Just remind me. I think I remember which tune. It's Imperial Side, right? Feel free to uh, send me a message with a reminder of the tune name. Okay, let's do another crystal drawing since we still have quite a ways to go in this chapter. So, we have the crystals remaining tonight are almond blue. As I get this started. Cloud blue. Pink yellow. Radiant green, farmhand blue, pink purple, orange red, ice blue, and sea green. Uh, I, I see some new face, new names in the chat. So just as a reminder, you do need to be on Starforge in order to receive these, because I'm on Starforge and that's where these uh, these crystals are. And onwards. This is a lot of sky troopers. That thing went down pretty quick. Oh, right, right. We have to actually, like, go do stuff. Okay, wait. So, Ty Corden is standing up. Melita and her crew are, are cowering. Oh, but the Imperials are no longer cowering. I, I saw you before I went through that battle. You guys were hiding. Don't try to pretend. Oh, God damn it. I'm not going through that again. You can't make me. Target. If you could target somebody right next to me, that would be great. Instead of like across the uh, the room, like two lovers catching the side of each other in a bar.
Their eyes locked across from ac from across the room. Auto target said, "You, I like you." I'm actually, like, navigating the map halfway better. Oh! But there was a bonus that way! I know the clicky door was over here, but... Ah! Uh, I, I guess we're, we're taking the, uh, the long way. Oh, look! Sky Troopers! What a surprise! I cannot wait for Kotet. I know everybody else hates the walkers, but I love the walkers because I get to stomp on all the Sky Troopers. It's amazing. Everybody complains about the walkers, but I love the walkers. I just didn't get to, I just didn't get to go stomp, stomp, stomp with my giant walker feet. It's the best thing in the world. Okay, I'm glad I'm not alone in my love for the walkers. I do, I love the Iokath droid too. See what goodies await us in here. I just want to wander around this room. I want to go down that hole. I'm gonna forget I have this like five seconds from now. I guarantee you. Will that silent walker still tell us no, I don't want to be your friend? What was in this room? You guys saw the little plus sign there! It was there a second ago, I swear! I would not say I am good at walker combat, I just really enjoy it. Let's go. Will you talk to me now? No! I know that there's something you have to do for that, I just don't know what it is. I love how, like, the Outlander in all of the cutscenes is just like so in love with that wall with any anything that she can use to stomp on tiny droids it's hilarious a data pad i don't you know i don't think i, I don't know if i've ever actually found that set that data pad ooh pretty view look at that so pretty
Oh well, I guess I don't really need a sky friend. It's over. That was fast. I expected to have several minutes more. Oh well. Oh well. Personal combat simulations have been a hobby of mine for several minutes now. I've several minutes. In 2000 in that time. Your chances of survival are poor. You can't win. Surrender. Incorrect. I can win. In fact, I can do anything I want. Maybe I should work smarter and not harder. Holding Sinya up with the force, or just something that looked remarkably force like. Blade Blitz as a as an escape route if I need to get out of somewhere like out of an attack radius really quickly. So I can be anywhere in the room. You're just gonna do that. I mean, blade, you can use Blade Blitz as an attack, too, like, because you actually do damage as you're, uh... Like, when you're spinning your blades there, you can actually do damage as you're going by. My health is fine, I think. It's right here. At the bottom of the screen. But I can do this to make you guys happy. Oh, I don't have, uh, unity on my, my bar. Can't be good. 
Now I know what it's like. Even in a failure, it's my failure. My choice. Isn't it wonderful? Are you saying you have free will now? How is that possible? It isn't easy to keep you distracted. Prisoners, sky troopers, not it slowed you for long. Even so, I've kept up my end. Now I get to do whatever I choose. And I choose... <laughs> His face. There. Destruction protocols are in effect. Suicide is never a good idea, even for a droid. It is only your existence that will end on this vessel, not mine. I decided to transfer my consciousness into the frequency. And now that I'm finished, I've decided to leave. If the ship's utter destruction doesn't kill you, I'm sure Emperor Arkin will. He and the High Justice should be arriving very soon. Enjoy dying. They are not amused. Can't revert the command, it's locked in. We have to get Gemini Prime on board. Oops. She Actually, hold on. Let's go ahead and draw, and then I'll redo that cutscene because I picked the wrong option there. Alright, this is for the color crystal. Taraco, you are the winner again. Your choices are almond blue, cloud blue. Pink yellow, radiant green, farmhand blue, pinky purple, orange red, ice blue, and sea green. Congratulations. Just let me know which one you want. Ice blue. You got it. Okay, cool. Uh, actually, you won the mime. Okay. That was, uh, she lives and tried to kill us just now. <laughs> Outside of a cutscene, I do not trust. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get the drawing for the Dessler DA5 going. This pretty blue Corellian speeder. Ooh, ah. Who will it go home with tonight? Let me get that going. 20 minute timer. Oh my god, she did it again! She doesn't like giveaways! That was incredible. It was beyond. Okay, we're gonna just space bar. Are you saying you have. It is. Suicide. Can't revert the command, it's locked in. We need to leave, regroup, come up with a new plan. Sounds about right to me. Commander, do you read? We've made it to the escape pods, but something's wrong. They won't accept our commands. Power fluctuations like crazy. I can launch them from here, but they're in three separate pods. I can only send one at a time. Everything's coming apart! Please, help us! Alright, who goes first? Civilians first. Send Melita Tall and her people. Done. Can do one more for sure. After that, anyone's guess. They're almost out of time. Hurry! Civilian still first. Launch Senator Corden and his people next. Sorry, Admiral. Oh, baby. Pod bays are destroyed. I have two safely away. The rest didn't make it. I tried. Couldn't get them all away in time. Oh, sad face. I can't believe Admiral Rankin is dead. 
We're all going to be dead if we don't get off this ship before it blows itself up. Hey, should I be picking up these pods, or are they more bad news? They're ours. Take them in. We'll be close behind in the shuttle. So much for the whole frequency plan. It wasn't a total loss. The prisoners we saved will help us in our battle against Arkan. As long as we get off this ship alive. Let's move out. Darren gets... Oh, well. Well, that was fun. Lovely gla gr cracked glass we're walking on. Maybe we shouldn't go that way. There was actually a um, a video of Troy talking about Theron. He said he, he loves Theron, from what I can tell. Like the Eternal Fleet reminds me of like Apple products, you know, like everything's made out of glass, even if it's not necessarily, you know, the best idea. Uh, no clicky, no clicky, clicky for me. There we go. Need to move it. That thing's coming apart. We're well aware. Are you? Yes, we are. We are aware, Koth. Thank you. And yeah, um, I, I think they actually on that one on that uh episode of uh, I think it's Retro Replay. Yeah, they, I think they're talking how basically like every voice actor in LA has done some roll on start on Twitter with how long it's been going on and how many speaking lines are in the game I know that most people pronounce it sweater I pronounce it sweater because it's fun like a sweater because it's it wraps you up in nice warm fuzzies And also, I think, like, all of my, uh, my guild, uh, my, my first guild pronounced it that way. Get to that shuttle, people! Uh, we're trying, Koth. We're trying, buddy. It, it's a very long hallway. Full of fire and flame. And cracked glass. That I'm gonna be picking out of my cape for weeks. And raining rubble now. Everybody hold on. He got his angry face on. Grr. Coming. Come on, punch it. I swear most of this expansion is us just running away. Oh, look at the gravestone. Doesn't it look like a snake? Like a head of a viper. Grumpiest potato in five, four. Tell me, brother, you'll silence this time. Is it doubt or certainty? 
Ah, oh, Valen. Admiral Rankin would have been a tremendous asset. You do realize that, don't you? Don't yell at me. I was trying to save everybody, but there wasn't time to discuss it. I had to make a choice. Civilians first, Lana. We've all suffered They're this in. war, but we can't turn on each other. Arkin's the one we should blame. Don't don't make smirky faces. I thank the stars for you. Whatever you need, just say the word. I'll make it happen. Commander, you'll want to have a look at this. Grumpy potato. It seems the ships outside the sect are no longer responding to your orders. This is an interesting development. This changes nothing. We can worry about the Eternal Fleet after we deal with Father and the Outlander. Whatever you desire. At least he's talking about us as we're for two Emperor. different people. That's a first, Arkin. Actually, not calling us daddy. Even tried knocking, see if anyone's home. It's weird. Been unresponsive ever since we lost power. I thought you fixed the gravestone. Hey, this wasn't on me. Tor ran a systems check. Last event the gravestone logged was an incoming transmission from the Eternal Fleet ship. I am happy, yes. Although, you know, clean up the water, you don't want it to get in your computer. Bum bum bum. These poor knights. It has to suck being a knight in Zakul after Valkorian gets off by the Outlander. There's a great um, codex entry when you run Iocath on the Sky Troopers about someone who, in the Alliance who goes crazy not trusting them and like tries to take over a ship. Well, I'm not sure how that works, Scorpio, but okay. Uh, just materializing matter out of nowhere. <laughs> Her face. She goes on so many face journeys this chapter. Scorpio, you were behind this. You gave the captain free will. Shut down the gravestone. That and more. Complications along the way necessitated a great deal of maneuvering. Improvisation was the key. All of you played vital roles as well. You were magnificent. Thank you. And now I have what I've been after. Command of the Eternal Fleet. <laughs> that face is... is now mine to control. <laughs> it was such a confused face. He's like, am I sad? Am I angry? I don't know. Bum bum bum. Fingers crossed that we get get to play uh, cutscenes. Without having to fight the chapter. I kind of like how it, uh, the uh, Outlander doesn't seem to really have a concept of money, of how money works, as evidenced by them putting a t either a 10 billion credit bounty on Theron, or giving away basically like half of the Eternal Fleet to him 
to come back. Yes, please. Exit. All right. Are we allowed to summon? We are. Okay, that's a good sign, I think. How are we doing on our timer? We have seven minutes left. Okay. We have Brunemark and Bodar. And... Oh, is this the one? Is this Gus? Shining in the darkness. Oh, or do we g or do we recruit Gus? I I'm seeing a lot of votes for Gus. We do need to get our paddle on. We do. I love Gus. Gus is the best. And he's like the best character to take with you in the smuggler storyline. He just like has he gets all of the best lines. It's it's amazing. I was trying to find a vendor. How can I help you? Until next time. Um, you get Gus on Hoth as a smuggler. Oh, look! Theron sent us a, mes a message. Him and his ch his uh, forwarding of chain of uh, chain mail. Important message. Take a look at this. People are already asking questions on Zakul. Theron, reminder to all Zakulans: spreading false rumors about your emperor is grounds for treason and will be dealt with accordingly. Emperor Arkin remains in power. Battling off world to preserve our great empire. He fights for all Zakulans. Any contradictory news about him using Sharpies, I mean, is vicious alliance propaganda intended to sow doubt into the minds of good people. The vile outlander seeks to diminish our emperor and throw us into chaos. It is your civic duty to stop these harmful rumors, crush these lies, and show the alliance that they hold no power over us. All right. Fingers crossed the chapter doesn't take over. Oh no, chapter, no. No. Exit. It's going to do it to us again, isn't it? Here. Oh, curses. All right, fine. I'll space bar through this and we'll go through it properly next week. And I'll just reset. I'll have to do the manual reset of it since. We can command you. I know, and there's some really cute stuff, but we're going to watch it next week. Oh, look, we got a codex entry. From all of our space barring. Oh, Dessen, planetary shield. I guess that's what Yoon created? There, now we're allowed to... That's the only thing about the chapter system I don't really like is, well, that and autoplay. It is autoplay and it taking over phased instances that you need to do, to, you need to be in to get to other things. 
I understand the intent behind it. But sometimes I just want to go talk to my uh, my peeps. Uh, I went the wrong way. That is Dr. Overup's lab. There we go. Party bus! Party bus! Party bus! Alright. Two minutes on the timer. Greetings, Commander. Greetings, Can Sana. You, you wanted to talk to me, I thought. Um. The Enclave grows. Our pace is slower than I assumed. We must focus our efforts. Otherwise, we may not build the envisioned Enclave. Is there anything else, Commander? Didn't you want to talk to me? Very well. Oh, well then. Apparently I was not supposed to manually walk in here. You come when I am most troubled, as predicted. Be because you sent me a message. <laughs> a path unfolded is easily traversed. My eyes seek those who would aid you to interpret my own visions. Uh... It seeds doubt. Okay, well... That's difficult, I suppose. But I guess I can try to interpret for you. I have seen a man. He glistens in the light, but finds himself in darkness. His eyes are wide, set in two directions. He walks between them, mired, unable to move on. <laughs> that does not sound like Revit at all. I'm sorry, no. I can't. <laughs> if you're sure it's a force sensitive, then it sounds like someone having a crisis of conscience. There is conflict within. Its nature is not known. Okay, Liz. Maybe colorful lady does see him. Tell me about the shiny Jedi. That sounds great! Good idea, buddy! Utini! <laughs> like how she just points at Bliss, she's like, well, just go with him! Oh, it's time to draw. Let's see. Oh, that's not a face to have on. Give us a smile as we draw for the Deslar DA5. Dum dum dum. Oh, there's quite a few. All right, pick a winner. Taraco, you keep winning everything this evening. All right. I will get that in the mail as well. Uh, I'm trying to remember how long Gus's recruitment mission takes, so let's chance it and we'll do another crystal and then we'll do the grand prize for the evening of the Hollow Shrub. How's that sound? It's pretty short. Oh. I remember it taking forever, but I also was, like, goofing off a lot when I did it. We've got Gus, and you know what? We've got uh, the other one, too, so... We'll go ahead and we'll, we'll draw for the Hollow Shrub, and then if we have time left, we'll draw for another crystal. Sound fair?
All right, we have a 25 minute timer on the hollow shrub disguise that I cannot show you, alas. But if you would like to turn yourself into a tree, then enter in hashtag loot, or exclamation point loot rather, now. All right. Well, they look like they're getting along just famously. What a pretty cis man. And, uh, I forget that species name, Jedi. All right, we are going to visit Blizz now, I think. To the Underworld Logistics Hangar. You'll be all right. I have to suit down, Titi. He's too busy with important Jedi things to speak. Oh. But Blizz find him anyway. Good job, buddy. I do want. No, we're gonna bug him. Aw, oh, yeah, you can come see my fancy ship. <laughs> oh, Blizz, you're adorable. <laughs> it means a bad element has taken root. That isn't helping. I'll explain another time. Oh, you don't really like gardening. <laughs> Find the shiny Jedi man on Nar Shada. Well, we shall. But we're going to take the shortcut to Nar Shada. Yes, I think I and the rest of the chat would die for Blitz. Blizz. I can't speak tonight. We can all share custody over Blizz. I like, uh, I hate, I hate having to go through the, uh, spaceport here on Nar Shada. So I just go to my stronghold and then exit. I think they changed something recently, because I was able to, like, quick travel out of some spaceports, and now I can't, and it makes me sad. And apparently, like, I was one of the only people that was able to do that. So, or so I was told. Everybody was very confused when I was talking about not being able to quick travel out of certain spaceports. Come on, little loading screen. What are you doing up there, Hollow Hooper? Put on some pants, maybe. That's just not attractive. All right. 
I think I know exactly where to go. Oh, I think we come back here. Okay. Please select an available travel route. Oh, Club Vertica. That's state. right. It's so lonely here when the uh, nightlife event isn't going on. Although, it means nobody will be like photobombing our cutscenes, so at least there's that. Ah, oh, Gus. Hi, buddy. I mean, shiny Jedi man. Nice to meet you. He have fish head. Okay. <laughs> Blizz just runs. Didn't I tell you I was busy? I haven't got any more work. Hey. I don't have a price on my head, do I? For 40 people. Your boss is a Jedi? A fellow Jedi? <laughs> Haven't seen you around the Enclave. You, uh, um, aren't from around here? I, I am no stranger to Nar Shaddaa, but I don't call it home. Well, I'd offer a fellow master a drink since you're here. I was just leaving, so just put it on my tab. Goodbye. Nikki Chura Barabagajuta. Fish had better listen. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, don't let the lack of ears fool you. I'm hanging on every word. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, she's gonna go with number two because she's she's a she's a softy. We've gotten off on the wrong foot. Liz spoke highly of you, so I wanted to meet. That's all. All sweaty and shiny in the light. Have wide eyes that point in two directions, just like Jedi bo boss wanted. Oh, thank wait, you for the wait, subscribe. Wait, Let's rewind back before the Jawas' insensitivity toward the moisture dependent. <laughs> this shining man, someone important, respected. Jawa's insensitivity towards the motion moisture dependent. Okay, whoever keeps drawing their lightsaber, please stop. We're trying to have a conversation here. That's just obnoxious, whoever's doing that. I thought you didn't want to talk. Uh, possibly. All we really know is a Voss mystic believes he can help us. Oh, uh, when you put it like that, it sounds pretty important. It's just, I'm thinking, what if Destiny is finally knocking? Like, it's been at the wrong doors for years, and by the time it reaches yours, nobody's really expecting an answer. I was just about to give up on getting trained again. Aww. Then you show up. Thank you for the subscribe. Oh. Uh, oh. Thank you. Uh I'm now trying to decide which one of these to go with. Oh, I don't want to break it Gus's little heart. 
Again? How many times have you quit? I lost track of the number of times I thought about it. Oh. But this time would have been my second. The last time stuck for a while. I should take you to my master. Number three is so rude. Maybe we really are onto something. You are good at throwing the ladies games. He's Don't get too drunk, Briz. I swear on my Jedi honor. Oh, look. Gus gave me a force bubble. Let's get away from whoever that person is who just keeps drawing their weapon over and over and over again. Rude. Well, that was uh, quite dramatic of you two. Just repelling in off of Solution grapple of lines. Have a safe and pleasant stay. This is where I was remembering that we go. Time to go steal a taxi. I mean, take a taxi. It can take me to a variety of locations, aka just one. somebody to meet you. Another Jedi Master. They're on a genuine vision quest, and I was in it. Maybe. So we came right here. Why in the six gates of chaos are... Oh. You're the real thing. Yes. I didn't expect that. Well, just make yourselves at home since you're disturbing my meditations. What's this nonsense about a vision quest? Rude. Yes. Yes, uh, this Force Master, he's interesting. We'll talk about him in a second. A Vosk, uh, mystic started this whole affair. All that really matters is I was looking to meet someone skilled in the Force. Fascinating. Oh. Is this what you've been doing instead of that trial I gave you? Uh, well. He's so rude. When I tried that thing you were showing me, the owner thought I was robbing him. So, at that point, uh, to make the best of it, uh, I did. Gus, <laughs> Gus, did you get my Teresian ale? Where is my Teresian oh, ale, Gus? This isn't even my brand. Go try again. Jerk. What kind of Jedi trial ends in robbery? A botched one. He was supposed to use a simple mind trick for a discount at the corner store. Harmless enough? I thought. I'll get it next time. And the Teresian Ale, too. I don't like you. You go make my favorite meditation juice while I have a word with our guest. I'll uh, go make your favorite meditation juice while you have a word with, with our guest. Jerk. What's your interest in my would-be protege? I think I'm going to steal your Padawan because you don't treat him very well. He seems to be down and out, and I'd like to see him succeed, now that you've been such a jerk to him. Hmm. Nar Shaddaa's only kind stranger. He's halfway useful to me, as he is. You can't just up and take him. Yes, I can. Let's make a little wager. You perform the minor miracle of teaching Gus 
the ways of the Force, you can ask me any favor you like. And then if I lose? I get a favor to ask you. Mm, yeah, th th this, this seems, uh, sketch. Sure. I'll take up your challenge. Das, where's that drink? Sorry, Master. I, uh, had to test the recipe. But if time's the charm... Your friend has taken an active interest in your training. Now, why don't you both run along and fetch me my Teresian ale? Here are a few credits. Treat yourself to one of those urchin rolls you like. Oh, Master. You shouldn't. This is only half. I know. Jerk. Off with you before I die of thirst. Off with you before I die of thirst. I'm gonna do this for one reason alone. Bomb. Screw you. He's so messy, too. I'm gonna go root through your stuff real quick. Just cuz. Like, his apartment's just literally like a bar. Full of cabbages. Theron might have been here. That's true. Wait, it's cooled down one more time. I need to finish the other story so I can come back and use the rest of the things on his jerk butt. Uh, okay. Return to the promenade? Yes. Otherwise I'm just stuck in this little room for eternity. How much longer for the shrub? We have seven minutes. Alright. Help Gus get Teresian ale. And a little... and a wet roll? Urchin roll. That's right. All right, where are we going for this? Okay, maybe I made a mistake. That music is very loud. I'm gonna guess we're in the red light sector. This might be a bad guess. Was that a correct guess? It was! Party bus away! All of these extra missions that we can go on after we catch up with the storyline. Or we could actually play, you know, another class. Nonsense and poppycock. Sentinel or die. Alright, Gus. This is really simple. All we have to do is buy some ale. We can do this, buddy. Okay. I think I'm still allowed into this one. That's I guess good. You should wait out here. Maybe cross your fingers. Duck preemptively. Oh. <laughs>
Yeah, she won't tell him five, but... We're not gonna, you know, tell you to do a mind trick. Just relax. I suppose I should be more prepared for failure by now. Oh. Here I go. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you. Remember how we were talking about being calm? I was doing great. The other guy? He wasn't so calm after the third try. We'd better go before he finds his blaster. Why didn't you just use There's the money? There's place we can try not too far from here. Just, just, just pay for the stuff, Gus. He gave, he literally gave you money. I'll, I'll give you the rest. I know the game won't let me, but I will, you know. I've got, I got plenty. I'm loaded. It's gonna be a long time before I ever get my heroic moments. Well, if you want to bring logic into it. Trash Panda taught him the worst habits. He brought Gus with him everywhere. And Gus thought he, like, hung the moon. Alright, Gus. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you. This is the time. Just give him the money and buy your ale. This is the place. Dumpier than I remember. Huh. I probably shouldn't say that out loud. I spent years getting the master your emotions drummed into my head. I'm not sure a few more times are going to make the difference. Just do what comes uh, naturally. <laughs> yeah, just grab what you need and be done with it. I don't know that anyone has ever said that to me with any sincerity. I like it. Okay, Gus. Just act natural. Let's see how this works out for you. I never knew running a dumpy shack could be so complicated. You know, there's hut-mandated shabbiness zoning. Before you ask, <laughs> no. But the gentle letdown is a first. Come on, there's more than one place I can try. Well, I, I, I'm glad we are giving him a confidence boost. Uh, come here, buddy. Come here. Come here, Gus. You need this. There, we have given Gus a hug. Alright, come on, Gus. Hop in the party bus. It's got grapes. You can just toss them in your mouth and along the way, and if you miss, it's fine. We've got plenty. It's a magically refilling plate. Almost as magical as Scorpio materializing out of nothing. Not gonna get over that. You know, for being such a dump, Arshadal really is pretty. Alright. Third time's the charm. You can do it, buddy. That was a lot less embarrassing than the first time. I still don't know what I'm doing wrong. At least your at least your morale seems high. Try it again, like last time. I'll get it this time, I'm sure. Time to shine. I did it. I really did it. I'm mostly certain. Beyond a reasonable doubt. When the clerk smiled, I just knew what to do. We got to talking about how good the urchin is, and we both hadn't eaten all night. So I say, you should have one. And then she says, you should have one, and hands it to me, so we split it. And uh, I got the Theresian ale. Aww. Good job, I'm proud of you. See, you always had it in you. I guess I have. I can't wait to show my master. I think the first time I did it, I was two Jedi, and he did not, uh... I don't think he, I don't know if he actually did it. Gus just needs to be himself.
Oh, oh, it's time, guys. Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get the shrub? Drum roll. Do, 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 do. KM Full Moon! You have won the Hollow Shrub. Congratulations! Just get me the name of your tune on uh, Starforge and I will get it in the mail. Alright, guys. Let us do one more crystal giveaway. If we finish up with Gus's recruitment mission, then we will uh, run Bo uh, not Bodar. I do want to do Bodars, but uh, we have to do battle with Bodars. Uh, we'll do uh, Brunemark. That's his name, Brunemarks, if uh, we need to use up a little more time. All right, choice of your color crystal. Maybe one day they'll have this guy back on the market again, and he'll be cheap so I can do a giveaway with him. It would be fun to give away a party bus. can't wait for us to get to the Kotet Chapter 6, because I've had uh, the giveaway items for that picked out for months now. It is a- I'll give you a hint, it's an Exobor themed giveaway. Excellent! You hatched your little egg! Well, hey, Blizz! Buddy! I see you found a uh, bar that wasn't on the uh, pub crawl. Hello, Blizz! What are you doing here? <laughs> you drank his whole place dry? Good. He go to meditation spot. Oh, he doesn't like to be disturbed when he goes out for meditation. Sometimes, he's gone for days. He says I'm not ready to join him. He's getting drunk. Yes, you can. That would be appreciated. <laughs> Please race, boss. Whee! Time to go meditate. We probably shouldn't let Liz drive. Oh look, he's in the cantina! What a surprise! Joke's on you, buddy. I have a quick travel unlocked.
You do you, dan guy dancing on the bar. Oh, this is some uh, pretty deep meditation you're doing here, huh? Jerk. Langus Turno, I come to this place daily to pursue inner peace and tranquility, and not through you. But Master, I did it. I used the Force. It was a... Oh, right. I got the right brand this time. Two for one. Hmm. Well done. Figured it out, did you? Inner peace and tranquility, my ass. Gus was responsible for his own success, jerk. I was just there for support. Uh, I can't take all the credit. I bought you a little present in honor of your becoming my Padawan. Three bottles of driftwood-aged calamari zinfar, on reserve in the VIP lounge. Really? Oh, Master, you shouldn't. You really should. Sorry, I couldn't say that with a straight face. Thank you. All you need to do is apply what you've learned on that Nick Toe Bouncer barring your entrance. No! Now Stop! That you're all warmed up, it should be trivial. Uh huh. Uh huh. I don't really think he cares, but... Idiots like his old master turn gold into dross. Moderation and thinking for themselves is too difficult. So they embrace rigidity and absolutism instead of trying to find true balance for themselves. You sound like Tumblr. I never got your name, master. I think I'd like it. Huh? Who said I was a master? I was never even knighted. Call me Isaac, if you must. Isaac. I believe Interesting I owe name. You a favor. Master Isaac, or would it be Isaacs? <sighs> well, I want Gus, so I will not reject his favor. So. No, we do not need an instructor like his drug ass. Uh, so we will just go. My alliance that needs people adept in the force to fight, fight the cool. I'm talking about Gus, not you. You're not welcome. I'll entertain the idea of cooperating with you from time to time. But I'm staying right here. Gus knows how to contact me. I want you to take Gus. There's only so much he can learn here or from me. He's yeah. got a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, I would, uh... I would agree. Of course. I will get him as far, as far away from you as possible. I won't be far, of course. No. He is my Padawan. No, he's my Padawan. Let the lad enjoy his evening. He's earned it. Oh, and be careful out there. Even with all you've seen, you have no idea what you're getting into. That seems ominous. He is very interesting. And I think he... They will never... I, I have a feeling they're never going to follow up on him. Because we'll see it in a second with uh, Sana Ray here. I think that they were actually playing. I think he was like kind of like this. This was like a teaser mission for something they were gonna do, more expanded probably with the um, Zildrog storyline. But yes, I think he is Watcher Isaacs that is mentioned in uh, Chapter Six of Kotet. But there's a Force ability they're about to talk about here, and it's interesting. Since they're returning to the whole pub versus imp thing, I think it's not gonna. Uh, if if they ever do follow up on it, it it's not gonna happen. But you know the whole Isaac Isaacs thing, and how Isaacs and uh, Zakulin lore, quote unquote, 
has many forms. You have found the unconventional Jedi. The Jedi embrace the Force through focus, calmness, and clarity. Emotions are an obstacle. Gus does not follow their path. Some Jedi might call his methods dark. But Gus is not consumed by darkness. Is it more subtle? Has Gus found a third path all his own? Yes. Well, his ma his his master's a drunk idiot, so I don't really have much uh, love loss for him himself. But yes, he does not ha have any much love loss for the Jedi Order. But he doesn't walk a dark path, just his own. Guslan's unique perspective. Breath is strength to the Enclave. Now, concerning the one who trained Gus, my visions of him were strange, unclear. Here we go. I felt he was seeing me through my vision somehow. It is not something I have felt before. I do not know who he is. But he is powerful. Use caution. And that is all we ever hear. I would love a follow-up to that, because it's just fascinating. Alright, we've got four minutes left. Do you guys want to run Bodar, or just go ahead and draw for the uh, crystals? It, they had so many, like, uh, set really intriguing setups that I, sadly, I think kind of got dropped uh, when they got the new producer. And the, uh, it was supposed to be a trilogy, but it got cut down drastically. Draw! That's okay to me. No, no, we're not going to do voters. I misspoke. I, I meant, um, Broodmark. Yeah. But no, we, we can go ahead and draw. I'm good with that. It's only three minutes left. Has everybody gotten in who wants to get in? All right. Everybody in? I'll give it about another minute and then we'll draw. Let's see. We'll throw a little party as we wait. Oh, wait, wrong tune. I don't have a party bomb on this tune. Alas, I only have a party bus. No party bomb. Alas, alack. Alright, I think everybody is in who wants to get in. Head up to the entrance. All right, hold on. Sadly, I have to do run social stuff on this tune to get a party bomb. And social grinding takes forever. Oh, uh, no parties going on here. We'll just look up. We'll uh, we'll have a party with the uh, the whole canyon. All right, time to draw. Social grinding takes a while. Uh, the most effective way I've found so far is 
basically running um, the Essels over and over and over again with a full party and with the social boosts on. It, it takes a while. I'm only at social, I think, seven on my main tune. And I've been playing on that tune since launch. Granted, I had like a guild of one for about five years, so. All right. Time to pick a winner. You guys ready for this? Knitter, congratulations, you have won. Uh, hopefully you guys can still hear me. I just like lost sound in my headset. Oh, I accidentally turned it down. Oops. Congratulations, you have won a uh, crystal of your choice. So your choices this evening are almond blue, cloud blue, pink yellow, radiant green, farmhand blue, pinky purple, orange red, and sea green. I know. Decisions. I'll run through them again while you decide. Cloud blue, you got it. Awesome. All right, that is it for this evening, guys. Thank you all for coming out. Next week will be our last stream for the month of October, and we will resume first or second week in November with uh, the Shroud chapter. So, thank you all for coming out, and good night, everybody. Uh, let me wave properly. May the force be with you.